Everyone loves the Vans. Everyone is chasing them, craves them, because they are one of the only ways to achieve a pure stream of passive income. All you have to do is put in the upfront work of saving and putting that money to work by investing and letting your investments pay out. It's fantastic, right? But how do we get to that point? Well, in this video, we will discuss how you can build your dividend portfolio the right way and create a monster portfolio that will pay you out dividends consistently year after year. Now, before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It's your favorite investor, and this is a channel to help keep you invested and build your wealth. So to get started, the dividend investing is the act of investing in securities that pay dividends. Dividend investors seek out companies or ETFs that have a history of paying out consistent quarterly or monthly dividends. Dividends are distributions taken from company profits that are distributed to shareholders. And you might be thinking to yourself, is dividend investment worth it? Right? Like a lot of times dividend investors are seeing, you know, dividend yields of maybe less than 2%. And so when it comes to answering this question, I believe that dividend investing is worth it for all types of investors. In your later years, they can eventually become a way to supplement your income or even be an all out substitution paying for your daily life expenses. Some believe that beginning investors shouldn't be worried about dividends at all. And I tend to disagree. Dividend stocks have a great track record of not only paying dividends, but consistently growing capital. Companies like McDonald's, Starbucks have seen massive growth and are consistent year over year on providing tremendous value to shareholders. They don't pay a huge dividend and most companies that will see growth will not have extremely high yields. Something similar to expect is around 2 to 5%. That's usually typical for a growing company. And the reason is that these companies don't have extremely high yields is because management is redeploying the cash to continue growing the company instead of providing the dividend payments. So some food for thought as we talk about these, uh, about these dividend companies, you should definitely be a little cautious because a company that yields high dividends is usually a company that is not, has no better use for its cash. And so they just distribute it. So it might be a, re a red flag. But the key is to understand as investors, we got to stay away from those yield traps. You want income, but it shouldn't be the only goal. You should aim to seek capital appreciation over time so that your capital doesn't erode and lose value. One example of a yield trap would be a company like HBI or Haynes Brands. They're a solid company, but they have been having issues internally. And this was seen on the share price recently when they cut their dividend and it led a lot of investors to bail on the company altogether. So what may seem like a sweet deal can turn out to be something that you don't even want to be a part of. Another thing to be cautious of is high yield ETFs such as QYLD or TSLY. These funds aim to put money into shareholders' pockets immediately. However, in the case of QYLD, it has not done a great job on maintaining the value of its share price. For older investors that seek income, this may be a great opportunity. But if you're just starting your investment journey, chasing these high yields, although providing cash flow, you'll miss out on the opportunity cost of long-term com compound investing. And that can only be seen by dividend growth and capital appreciation. So one of the ways that you can accelerate this process of building a monster portfolio is by investing on a regular schedule. Use automatic deposits and purchases so that you don't even think about investing. It just happens. I'll show you how to find the ETFs and companies, but none of this will matter if you don't invest consistently. You can also boost your portfolio by taking any side income or unexpected income and throwing that into the portfolio. And so to get started, we have to find these dividend paying stocks. We have to find the best ones that are going to consistently pay you year after year, right? Because if you're building a portfolio, that's what you want. These high growing companies that are going to pay you dividends consistently and are going to grow their dividends to increase your cash flow as inflation rises and time goes on. So we can start with the ticker symbol. SCHD or the Swab Dividend Equity ETF. And SCHD has been around for 10 years. And in that time frame, it has provided investors with fantastic dividend growth and capital appreciation. However, what we are going to do is look at its top holdings to see if there are companies that we believe will continue to not only pay their dividends, but grow the dividends and increase share price. Why am I going to SCHD? Because they literally base their portfolio off of finding these these grade A companies that have a history of increasing dividends, having capital appreciation, and they're some of the best well-known companies 
in the United States. So we can see the top 10 companies in SEHD are Amgen, Cisco Systems, Home Depot, ABV, Broadcom, and Pepsi. Those are just some of the names that are in the top 10. All fantastic companies, companies that you've probably heard of. If SCHD has them in the portfolio, they're already vetted and they're already going to be solid companies that more than likely will continue to have long-term growth. But we can take the first one on the list, Amgen. They pay a dividend yield of 3.52% and have grown their dividend for the last 11 years with a dividend growth rate of 16.75%. They also have a price return or a capital appreciation rate of 14.9% over the last 10 years. So if you believe that this company will continue to grow and increase dividends, let's see how this can play out. We'll head over to the bestdividendcalculator.com and we're just going to assume that we're going to have a capital appreciation of 10%, a sustained dividend yield of 3%, and a dividend growth rate of 12%. Because we've seen that this stock has a tendency to grow its dividends faster than its capital appreciation. So we're going to start today with $0. And we're going to commit $6,000 a year. And we're going to stay invested for 30 years. Now, of course, you will see that at the end of year 10, you have a portfolio that's worth $116,000 that pays you $3,954 a year. Fast forward two decades later, at year 30, your portfolio is now worth 2.2 million with annual dividend payments of $109,743. Now, of course, with dividend investing, the more you invest and the better the returns, the more in dividends you can earn. This is just one example, but it can show you how understanding the holdings and dividend ETFs can help you build a monster portfo dividend portfolio by going and diversifying between these high paying companies that have fantastic dividend growth rates and capital appreciation. In my personal experience, I prefer to use something like SCHD and just invest in that instead of picking single stocks. I invest in them weekly, whether the market is up or down. The fund itself has demonstrated an ability to provide great returns and dividend growth over the last decade. I also choose to invest in other companies like Apple. Their dividend at the time might not be as high, but as I said previously, you want, you want yield, but not at the expense of sacrificing capital appreciation. I believe Apple still has a lot of growth left and believe the dividend will start to pay more in the coming years since their cash flow has been incredible. I believe that they will come to a point where paying out more to their shareholders instead of reinvest, reinvesting in R&D and trying to create new products will end up happening at some point. Again, I went over one example with SCHD and it's a good starting point. But definitely make sure you research the other companies and see what other holdings you might want to have, might want to have in your portfolio. Most likely, if you choose companies like this, they will continue to do just fine and you'll see your portfolio do well over the coming years. But anyways, if you made it this far in the video, I hope you got some value from it. And be sure to check out the best dividend calculator.com to start putting together your plan to build wealth. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more financial content. It's your favorite investor and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.